Okay, a little bit of little bit of housekeeping too, as we just think um, setting up our cases. Um, I'm always uh, recommending just jump into the module that's called Surgical Guide Advanced Mode. I don't find a lot of uh, use for the normal mode. The advanced mode isn't very much more advanced. It just adds the important um, details of offset that you need. So we sit in the advanced mode. Always set your, if you're using the, the Blue Sky Fully Guided Kit, which a, a lot of you guys are, uh, make sure you set your kit to that. It doesn't default to that for whatever reason, uh, and I don't think you can change it. But just remember to set your kit to the kit that you're using. If you're using another implant manufacturer, then just set it to that kit. But uh, a lot of us are using the fully guided Blue Sky kit. Nerve mapping has, uh, nerve mapping's become automatic now in Blue Sky plants. So I don't know if you guys saw that, which is kind of cool. Um, if you've ever mapped a nerve, um, before you just have to go like click the mental frame-ins and then it would automatically. Now it's just a one-click automatic nerve mapping. So when you're doing your lower, your lower uh, posterior implants or your, um, you know, your guided cases, um, fully guided cases, then uh, you know, map your nerves. Wag factor too, again, to touch on this. Wag factor is the farther that you are away, the longer your drill, the farther that you're away from that guide tube, the more that the, uh, the, the, the tip of the implant can move. And I, li I literally ran into this yesterday. I, uh, here's my bone level and my guide tube was way up here. And it was, I had too much space for my guide tube up for my implant. And the, um, you know, the crest was rounded, right? And the crest was very dense. It was hard cortical bone. And I didn't plan it well. My drill, by the time it got down to the bone, I'm just drilling like this on the side of my, on the side of my jaw. And a big part of that is because my guide tube was so far away from my crest, by the time the, the implant, there's still a little bit of play in these drills. Like you can press it down and it will bend a little bit and kind of move. I mean, there's still a little bit of play within these, within these guides. But if you think about if this was my bone, this was my guide tube, and I'm starting with a six millimeter, like tiny little pilot drill, I mean, I'm just gonna be like right there, punching right through. You know, or you're going to use your flat drill and kind of profile the crest there to give you a flat starter spot. So just think through those things. You know, remember your different drivers. I, because I've gone to like bumping up and adding three to like every, you know, every implant, you always have to drive it in with a variable offset driver because your standard offset driver, you're stuck with 8.5. You can't go, you can't change that. And so the variable offset driver is the one that you almost always default to because remember you've got 8.5, 10.5 and 12.5. So if your default's 8.5 and you're adding three and you're creating, changing it to 11.5, you're gonna be ending your implant, driving it in right between the 10 and a half and 12 and a half. You just gotta remember, if, you're, if, you, if you wanna do 8.5, you can use this. But then remember, this thing is so short too that by the time you put your ratchet on there, you're like hitting the guide. And so this thing is almost useless, I find. I almost always just go to the longer one because you get it away from the guide you can actually use your ratchet or your handpiece. And then if you like placing implants with a handpiece, uh, which I know Dr. Pope and I like, it's, this is the same thing, but just on a latch. So you can use your, your um, you know, you don't have to sit there and crank, but each his own. Um, good, everybody good on, on that? Cool. A lot of fundamentals here that we've gone over before, but um, another important concept, just again, review. We call this a guide tube. And a guide tube is just a digital cylinder that's planned around the implant. It has a, a set diameter that you set, and it has a set offset away from the implant. But what's important to remember is that your guide tube, the software just sucks that guide tube and makes it part of the guide. And so a lot of people get confused, like this outer ring versus the inner ring. Like, do I, you really only have to care about the inner ring, because the inner ring is what gets built into your guide, and that just becomes part of the plastic. So what you can do is, after you create your surgical guide, go hide the guide tube, and then see what you actually got. Because then you can see, oh shoot, am I too thin right here? Well maybe you wanna move, move this just a little bit distal, and like steal a little bit of this and add to this. Does that make sense? It's easy, you just go click delete surgical guide, go move your guide tube a little bit, and hit re, you know, recreate guide. So it's not a big deal if like, if you create it and you don't really like how it looks, just delete it and recreate it. <laughs>